We're on the western side of Queens right now, aka the worst side of Queens. The first person to really like bloom in these projects in like years. Famous mural. You're on the fifth floor right now. Each building got six floors. Largest projects in the world, six blocks, 96 buildings, 28 exits. Sometimes it feel like, like we stuck here. Swag, 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 swag. What's going on guys? It's a beautiful morning out here in Queens. I'm with Rich Roman. It's your boy Rich Roman here, man. I'm about to take you on a tour of my projects, Queensbridge Project. Largest projects in the world, six blocks, 96 buildings, 28 exits. We're on the western side of Queens right now, aka the worst side of Queens. Mob Deep actually shot the Shook Ones video. Like if you look where the video was shot, when it was coming off the expressway, like this whole strip right here, it became famous. MC Shan, who actually Started hip hop from Queensbridge alongside with Roxanne and Shantae and a couple others. He said in his rhymes, they used to do it out in the park. It's the park right here that he was talking about. This park right here is actually famous because as time went on, KRS1, he made the song The Bridge Is Over in reference to that term. They used to do it out in this park. Right behind me, we got the bridge right here, the 59th Street Bridge. Right over here, we got Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Island connects from Manhattan to Queens as well. The thing with this project is, you know, some people might try to talk down on it. They might try They might try to say Queensbridge is a bad place. For me personally, I don't think Queensbridge is a bad place. Queensbridge is actually a good place. The people are great, the people are lovely. It's just life, you know, things happen in life, so shit happens, you can't really fault people. But sometimes, you know, as me and my friends grew up and a lot of things happen, sad to say, it feel like it's a dark cloud in this project. Like sometimes it feel like, like we stuck here. As we would get up, Something tragic will happen and it'll make us fall down. But as a community, we just try to get back up and try to get over that huddle. This is the projects right here. Right now, we're on the north side of the projects. That's my side of the projects. Queensbridge is actually divided into two parts, the north side and the south side. There's three blocks on each side. You got Vernon, you got 10th Street, you got 12th Street. Right now, we're on Club Vernon. Across the street, you got Don Block. Of course, you got Bompton. Swing back around, you got 12th Street again. You got Don Block on the south. And then you got Fly Guy burning over there. You got a candle lighting for one of the young ladies who passed away in the projects. You know, R.P. Lele, like, you know, we lost her a year ago. Sad to say, we lost to some nonsense that happened in Queens. But you know, like, we just still like keeping her legacy alive in these projects. I keep really not working. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now we inside. <laughs> it's just between here. So right here, these is our mailboxes right here. If you look, you see right here, People be playing with the mailboxes, so people really actually be stealing people's mail. And people just like, shit just be happening. You know, people just be doing all types of crazy shit. I'm about to take out on the roof. We're on the fifth floor right now. Each building got six floors too, so our floors is actually small. If you look at inside the actual, the infamous album, Mob Deep, shout out, Havoc, God Bless Prodigy. They did like a big picture right over here with all the guys that grew up in the neighborhood around that time. You can see the famous Silver Cup Studios. For those of y'all don't know about Silver Cup, Silver Cup was actually in the movie Honey. Queensbridge actually played a big part in music, especially Queens. You know, you had DMC, you had Onyx, but at a point when Nas came out and then Mob D came out, it just was like, Queens just went crazy. Those guys, they actually played a bigger part. Even Roxanne Shantae, MC Shan, Molly Maul, Ma pardon me, Molly Maul, all of them people, they played a big part in how hip hop developed, not only in these projects, but they also helped set the tone for Queens as a whole. Ron Artest is even from here, pardon me, I almost forgot. There we also got the Con Edison plant. When they had that big blackout, it started from there. They kind of actually rebuilding the projects, make things a little better for the people that's been here for years. There's a lot of gentrification going on. I'm about to take y'all on an actual tour of the block. So, like I said, this is Vernon. Vernon's actually my block. I grew up on this block, born and raised on this block. It was a point in time where we actually had, like, just uh, one monkey bar. We had no swings. And we had, it was like a, a red, like a small red jungle gym. We used to play on these courts right here. We used to have full five on five games going up this court. A lot of the guys in the community, like growing up, they used to get money. They used to chill right here. Like I used to like love walking past, dapping everybody up, giving everybody a five. Because one thing I could say, you know, regardless of what people was doing in the community, nobody ever shitted on us 
or did nothing bad to us. Where the uh, FedEx guy is going right there, you got Nas's building. That's actually the building where Nas is from. My grandmother used to live right here on the first floor. She used to tell me, Yo, you can't go outside. You got to stay inside to do, do your homework. But it's just like when you growing up, growing up in this community and you build a friendship with a lot of people that are actually loving and caring, it makes you eager to want to go outside and make new friends. One of the first friends like I ever lost, Arfi Sean, he was from that building right there. He passed away in Staten Island. Then, you know, back there, like I told you, Lil Lay, she was from my building. She died. Little Amir, he was from that building. He passed away. So it's like a lot of people from this block that like passed away who's not really here with us no more. So we just really try to keep the faith alive in the community. Right now, I mean, it's quiet. Ain't nothing really going on in the projects. It's calm, collective. We about to go on down block. We still on the north side of the projects. Slices from this building right here. He passed away four years ago. I was one of my uh, other childhood friends growing up. A little something that they set up for him. Like, you know, his birthday just passed, you know. One of the friends that we actually lost to first growing up was Tashana Murphy, one of the top ranking female basketball players in the country. We lost her nine years ago to gun violence. Our brother Taylon Murphy, who was also from this building, the Free Band, you know, he was uh, sadly convicted of a crime that he didn't commit. Right here, though, we got the center. This is actually the Jacob Reese Center. Um, this tour is iconic because Roxanne Shantae and the real Roxanne, they actually battled here. We also used to have the uh, Reese tournaments right here. This was like the after school spot. This was like our chill spot. We felt like, you know, shit was on the edge and we didn't know how we was going to make it out. We used to come here, you know, shout out Miss Veronica. You know, she kept this whole place running, like up and running. Still tell this day, like this, pro uh, this property right here still plays a major part in the community. Like even now till this day, people still come back, host baby showers here host parties here, like do whatever, just to keep you know that momentum and the spirit going to this center right here. This center is a legend right here. Just about five years ago, when they had uh, they had the Hardy tournament, that was my old friend who passed away, may he rest in peace. They rebuilt these courts over. These courts had a lot of cracks in them. They fixed them up and all the tournaments, so till this day, they host tournaments over here. RP King Shooter, you know, King Shooter, man. That was my boy, like one of my other childhood friends. Like he actually had it going for this project. Like that was like the next thing out of this project moving, you know, sadly, we just lost them recently. This is something that they put together here on the benches. He was the first person to really like gloom in these projects in like years since Mob, since Mob Deep, Nas. So it was a great experience to see my man's blossom, you know, but it's sad like that we lost him. May he rest in peace. Now we on like the strip, y'all. I love this Chinese restaurant. Like I love this Chinese restaurant, but my man's and everything I be bugging, they got a C rating. They got a C rating. They be doing us dirty out here. Uh, definitely. Nah, I'm just gonna get you in there. Uncle Skeeter! Okay, what yeah. are we talking about? Nah, we're talking about the neighborhood. Moves, definitely. Man. Definitely. Right. 696. You know, Six blocks. Moves, man. The 96 building is a hell, bro. Prodigy's mural right here. This is actually where his mural was. Like I said, he was a big part of hip hop, a big part of Queensbridge. So I just hope one day, you know, they can actually let it come back up. Alright, you know what I mean? The Nas Meru. Famous Meru. Um, when people come to Queensbridge and when people, the tourists, whoever come here, whenever they come in, it's like besides this building, this is something that they always ask for. A lot of people they come here just to post and take pictures. I swear to God. People just come here, take pictures, go home, and that's it. Um, they just put this up about a couple years ago. I'm not really too sure how many years ago they put this up. But um, like I said though, um, shout out to the young man who actually put that up. That's actually dope because we actually got a piece of our community hanging up in our community, which is dope. So when people come, not only do they know Nas is from Queensbridge, but Nas really is from Queensbridge and he reps it on his mural. So that's pretty dope though. I, I really like that though. That was a smart idea, most definitely. Right now we about to go on the last block on the north side, about to go to Bombton. Bombton's like, it's like the littlest block out here. This is where everybody chill out, everybody hang out, everybody come together. You know, stuff like that. Like, you know, this block is crazy too. You know, RP, my bro Hardy. These letters right here, so in the projects, it's an A, apartments, A, B, C, D, E, and F. These letters right here, when people are coming inside these projects, they trying to find out where apartment, what, 2A is or whatever. You can look at these lines right here. This is our train station right here. 21st Street, Queensbridge on the F line. First stop in Queens. Downtown Queens, because we right, we call it Downtown Queens too, because we like leaving Manhattan, coming right into Queens. So as soon as you come to Queens, you're coming right to Queensbridge. It was a big old flood over here, so they just closed it. So right now, we gotta cross the street. Yeah, we gotta cross the street to get 
inside the train station. I'm about to take that downstairs. See? They took the front out of the train station. We should have had a letter F hanging right there. They took it away. Notorious F line. Crackheads just be chilling inside the train station. They be ready like to open the doors for us pop, like pop open the doors. Like mad love though. That's what I'm saying. Like the project is mad love out here. Even the crackheads be showing mad love. Now we fully on the south side of the project. Like this little area right here, like this building coming up. My man Ruka Dawn, may he rest in peace. That was another one of my childhood friends, you know, he passed away. We used to have a Queensbridge outreach. We used to have a games right here. Now, if you look at this block versus to what I showed y'all, you can see this block is way more bigger. This block is huge. It's not the biggest block in the project, but this block is huge. And they had like the best courts. The whole spot would be going crazy. Even if you wasn't from, from here, people just always show love because like I said, basketball was a big part of this community. We on 12th Street. Um, this is also where Ron Artest, aka Metal World Peace, is from. This is his block. And this is actually Mob Deep's block right here uh, behind me. A lot of greatness on this block, a lot of history on this block. Um, a lot of legends is from this block. The 59th Street Bridge that I showed y'all earlier, this is like the beginning of it. But here's the N train now. The N train goes to Queen's Plaza, the N and the W train. We right in the heart of everything. Uptown, downtown, we got the cops right here. They just chilling, doing a whole bunch of nothing. They just saying, I just want to say to everybody in the projects, I love y'all for proving everybody wrong. Like, no matter how, how many times you try to put us down, I try to doubt us. Like, we are winners and we are going somewhere without lives. So, for the police that's watching this and that got something negative to say about people in the projects, like, Please, like we doing, like we doing things right with our lives, and we just trying to make it out. That's all we just trying to do. This park was just so plain. It's been plain for years. Like literally, like probably like 2019. A crew of summer youth kids painted this little mural right here. They actually got to experience the roots and the history of Queensbridge. You know, so it was kind, it was kind of dope to actually watch like the younger kids actually come up and experience it. R.P. Money Mag. You know, another one of my childhood friends I played uh, in the outreach tournament with. Too. He's from this block right here too. Birds, we rappers that's still here. I done been on five tours around the world. And we movie stars. Don't let that go over your head. He an actor. I ain't doing no acting. Nah, he's an actor too. He's an actor. Yo, and we movie stars. J-Rock. Don't let that go over your head. See, two game plays. See my man. Go watch the pyramid. Queen Bridge story. And I'm high on the other one. You want that like Rondo shooter. Rest in peace, my motherfucking nigga Vaughn. Right. Yeah, man. Rest, Rest in peace, Vaughn. Rest in peace, Shooter. That I stole. Shooter, we love Shooter nigga. block right now. That I stole. Slice. Yeah, Happy belated birthday, Slice. You know That's that. Fact, here, we oh, and it's Hardy. Hardy shooter, and it's Hardy. Can't forget everybody. my bag. Hefe, I love you, nigga. It's Hardy day today, right? That I stole. For real, though. Yo, love you, bro. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? It's a spot right here. This like the this like the you need a t-shirt, you need a scully, you need a face mask, whatever. Come right here. We got it all in the hood, baby. We got everything over here. That's 696. 696 is a part of the community. Um basically like that's a spot too. Where like that they built so like the younger people in the community could be a part of something positive. Shout out to 696 no, for trying to make the hood better. The guys right here too, bro. For real. The guys right here too. Chilling in the store. This is their favorite store. I don't even, I don't even mess with the store like that. <laughs> this y'all store. I love y'all though. We got the PAL right here. It was like the daycare, you know? You know? Check it, buddy. Chill. I never went there per se because I just always was like in after school. Like in my regular school, PA 76 or in the center. I never really went here though, but from what I heard though, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. If you watch murder music with Big Noid, uh, Mob Deep, Nas, everybody was in that movie. Um, this is actually where they actually shot part of murder music up here on this hill. About to go on Fly Guy, that's the last block in the project. We're on the 41st side of Vernon. This block right here is actually like the largest block in the projects. They never really utilized it for anything, like as far as, you know, sports or nothing. This is my guy, yo. This is my guy, yo. This is my guy right here, yo. This is my guy right here, bro. This is my guy right here. Some bros right here. I want to just say this from the bottom of my heart, man. RP everybody we lost. Free everybody that's incarcerated right now. I love y'all. I love my hood. Queensbridge, I love y'all. It's your boy Rich Roman, man. I'm here, man. I love me. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. Big shout out to Rich Roman for taking us around his neighborhood. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you come back and watch my future videos.